What's up, guys? Welcome to a new day. I'm Stephanie Ryder, and this is the 365 Shares Podcast. It's February 14th, 2024, and today's topic is good enough. The Big Red Book says ACA recovery is challenging, but the rewards are immense. We must put forth effort and feel the uncomfortable feelings that might come. At the same time, the goal is self-love and knowing that we are good enough just the way we are. This is an ACA paradox. It's Valentine's Day. I didn't do a ton today. My partner and I hung out after he got off of work. He worked late today. So he brought me flowers last night, which was really sweet. And then I picked up burgers and brought them over to his place. And we watched an episode of Great British Baking Show, which was a little bit nostalgic for us because that was something we watched a lot during the pandemic. And we stayed home and watched TV and I was baking. I'm mostly gluten-free. I've been gluten-free for a long time. But during the pandemic, we were just eating whatever. And I gained a lot of weight and I ended up having to lose like 20 pounds in the past couple of years. But we would watch Great British Baking Show and we had a lot of fun and we hadn't watched it in a while. But he turned off his cable after the Super Bowl because he usually only has it on during football season. So we switched back to Netflix and watched that. And it was kind of funny because we were just remembering some of the old episodes and contestants and he has a really good memory. So I was like, oh, this this guy reminds me of that other guy from that other season. He was like, yeah, that guy won. And I was like, oh, did he? I don't know. So that was kind of fun. And that's that. It's a Wednesday. I hope you had some nice time with a loved one or some Galentines or some bro. I saw someone did like a bro, bromantines or something. (laughs) Um, There's all kinds of options or just treat yourself. That's a new thing now too. I saw on one of the newspapers. It's just like treating yourself. So I hope you treated yourself or you did something nice and it was a great day for you. I'm Steph and this is my share. The Strengthening My Recovery book talks about this feeling that a lot of us struggle with, which is that we are not good enough and that we will never be good enough and that nothing is enough for us. And it's just this kind of going through life with this hole in us that can't be filled. And we try to fill it with people, relationships, drugs, sex, money, shopping, gambling, any kind of high, you know, adrenaline, sports, whatever it is, because we just have this deep hole that can never be filled. And I remember asking a friend of mine a long time ago, we had all gone up, a bunch of our friends had driven up to his parents' lake house, and we had a really nice weekend. And on the way home, he had an iPad that had 3G on it. And it was like, he was, he always had the latest technology. He would get like any new phone that came out. And he was one of the first people that we knew that had an iPad that actually had independent wireless service outside of just being at home on the Wi-Fi. And so we're driving home from this great weekend we had at the lake with his parents and all of our friends. He's on his iPad and he's like scrolling through real estate options because he wanted to potentially buy a place. And he was like talking about dating. And I think at the time we were all on OkCupid was like the dating site that everyone used because it was pre like Tinder and Hinge and all that stuff. And he just was like always looking for the next thing, the, the newest watch or gadget, uh, a new girlfriend that was going to be his soulmate, a condo that was going to be like his place where he would be happy. And I remember asking him, is anything ever going to be enough for you? And he thought about it and he looked at me really seriously and he said, I don't know, but I hope so. And that kind of struck me because we all sort of laughed about how he was never satisfied, but to hear him say that it was something he was looking for and something that he strived for but maybe that he just didn't know how to achieve or that if he would ever achieve it really stuck out to me because it was very self-aware. And it also just gave me a lot of empathy for him because he wasn't just someone who always wanted more and better. He really did want to feel complete and whole. His parents are lovely, but his mom does struggle with alcoholism and it has affected him his whole life. You know, that's just, I think, a very typical trait of adult children. And I remember feeling the same way a lot in terms of someone I was dating, like I always was in these relationships and I wanted to be married and I wanted to be happy, but no relationship ever really felt like enough. Sometimes I would have the phantom ex where I would fantasize about a relationship that hadn't worked in the past and hold my current relationship to a standard of this ideal that didn't exist of an old relationship, which always made the current relationship more difficult because I was sort of escaping from the relationship and I was avoiding intimacy by having all these old feelings that I wasn't able to let go of which is where I had been living with my ex-husband. And 
We did tarot readings all the time. She would do these big spreads. There's one called the Celtic Cross, which I think is 10 cards. And so we pulled cards all the time. And there were cards that we both got consistently. Like there were cards that she got a lot. She got all all the cards that have chariots on them. There were cards that I got a lot. There was like a blue, watery, goddessy card that I would get when things were peaceful for me. And then there were these like red warrior goddess cards that I would get if I was in a tough situation or something I had to like strive through or struggle through. But one day after doing these tarot readings for a couple years, I got the satiety card. And I remember it just really stopped me cold because I'd never seen it come up in a reading for either of us or even for friends. She would do it for other people and they would get different cards than we even usually got. It was like very strange how it was always kind of tailored to us, but I'd never seen anyone get the satiety card and I had never gotten it. And I really just thought about the possibility that satiety existed for me. And it was this hopeful kind of calm feeling when I decided to venture out west where I am now, which at the time was going to be temporary to be closer to someone I'd been dating long distance. I just remember thinking, I don't know if he is my satiety, but I think following him as a white rabbit leads me to it. And there are so many reasons that it was the right choice and that it did lead me to a place where, I mean, I don't know that I will ever achieve full satiety where there's nothing I want in life because at that point you stop growing, but I really do feel more like I found the healing that I needed. And a lot of that is through ACA. If you don't believe in your heart that you are good enough, nothing else will be good enough for you. It really takes stopping that outward seeking behavior to make you bring your focus in on yourself, make you realize that you're enough, becoming your own loving parent. If there's something your inner child needs or wants or is scared of, you have to address that. You can't be looking to someone else to do that for you. It's our responsibility to take care of ourselves, to meet our own needs, to love ourselves. And I know it's sort of a platitude now of like, you know, be the love you want, or you can't expect someone else to love you if you don't love yourself. It really is true. It's easier said than done. But through therapy, through ACA, through good partnerships with secure people, friends, romantic relationships, It is possible to get to a place where people tell you that you have value and you believe it. So on this Valentine's Day 2024, regardless of whether you had the Valentine's Day of your dreams or it was a little bit of a bummer day for you because you didn't get what you wanted, or if it was just a regular Wednesday, I will end with the affirmation today from the Strengthening My Recovery book, which says, on this day, I remember that I am and have always been more than good enough. 